joining us here on Hopewell Sports Nation are the winning coaches of Hopewell's fourth grade travel team, which won their second tournament of this season. Congratulations, uh, Coach Ambrose, Coach Gelati. And uh, uh, first off, uh, just what was the key after halftime? You guys were only up one point in this, uh, at the half, and then the second half, uh, I believe you outscored them. Was it fourteen to two or somewhere around the uh, line? Uh, what you know? What was working well in the second half? I think the uh, I think the team just started to kind of buy into that. The only way we were going to be able to truly stop their scoring was to kind of front their big men. Uh, you got to see the game. There's some really big guys on that other side of the court, and I think just getting in front of them instead of trying to play behind them, not giving them those easy shots was was a key for reducing their points. And I think we started to utilize a little bit of a ball screen to get some mismatches. I think that helped a little bit too. Coach Ambrose, I know in the second half, uh, one thing I noticed was your intensity on defense. They had a hard time, not that not that they didn't in the first half, but in the second half, once they got over half court, uh, somebody was picking them up and they had a hard time even getting into the lane anymore. Uh, that, that had to impress you. Yeah, I mean, Coach Delay said to the kids before the game, he thought the key was the pressure ball. And, um, it hurt us a little bit with that ball screen. They have real big kids, two real big kids, which made them good screeners. And I think they were coming down here in the first half and just sort of getting the rim. Um, I think once our guys started picking the ball up a little bit better, like he said, front of the post, and I think helping from the weak side, kind of block those gaps so they couldn't drive. And once they couldn't drive and get the post touches, I thought they didn't have a lot of good shots. Basketball, you know, is a team sport. It's nice to have one guy, but. Uh... Anyone that was here saw that everyone that was on the court for you guys uh, contributed in a way. It's not always about uh, who's scoring the points, but uh, today was a te uh, true team effort. Yeah, honestly, that's kind of what our, our, our identity is. I mean, if you look at our score sheet any game, it could be a different high score every game. We move the ball well. We share the ball well. Very unselfish. They play hard together. They're buying in as a team. It's a very unselfish team, so I think that's why you see both defensively and offensively, they're, they are a unit, not individuals. You know? And just uh, two more things here. I'm not going to ask him because I'm not going to have him talk about his son. But number one, uh, uh, played a hell of a game out there. Anyone that saw he best player in the court today, without a question, the way he, uh, with his defense and his eyes in, in terms of finding open teammates and making shots, uh, West stepped up big today. It's not a surprise. I mean, that's who Wesley is. He's just a really, really good player. A little guy is a good combination of really good skills and, and being quick and being also real tough. So, like, when you put those three things together, I think you're going to find the other good player. And like Dave said, when he, when he started with this group a few years ago, we just try to bring as many guys along as possible. We talk all the time just about, hey, you got to get 9, 10, 11, 12 guys in this group who can play. And I think if you stack those groups on top of each other, you're going to solve the program. Most of these guys play, at least seven or eight of them play basketball you know, eight, nine months a year. Yep. And they, and they, but they're all multi sport kids, but they find time to put some time into basketball. But the West is just one of the better players around. I haven't seen anybody in this grade that's better than um, at least not our league. And just last thing, uh, just how proud of you guys are uh, of the fact that this is your second tournament win. Uh, you know, it's nice for these kids to know that all the work that they're putting in on the court is resulting in not just some wins. Uh, you know, you've won two championships, and in this tournament, you took on three or a bunch of schools that were from pretty big districts. Yeah, we were uh, we were excited to try uh, against the bigger teams because we know. I mean, we know we have a good team, right? We've got a good group of, of players, and we wanted to challenge them. At the end of the day, if we didn't come out of here with, with wins, that wasn't the goal anyway. It's great that we did. Um, it's awesome to see. It's awesome for them to see. But really, we wanted to challenge them so they knew what they had to keep working for. Right? And we'll continue to do that. All right, guys. I appreciate it. Go, go Vikings. Thanks.